two-man wall, the real crowd in the goal mouth. Kelly gets the go-ahead, rips it in, and it's headed away well at the near post. Ball's going out for a corner, the referee's going to allow the corner to be taken, the crowd aren't happy with that. That was not, Paul was not stopped when they took that corner there. Well, Wrexham thump it clear, and there is the final whistle, and Wrexham were simply magnificent. A tough, tough assignment, but we blew Crawley away. Neil, that was a sight of old, wasn't it? Oh, a great game to watch, Mark. At no point in that game did I feel that we were going to come unstuck and Crawley were going to beat us. I thought we played superb football, very controlled at the back, allowed them, as we've done many times with the away team, to pass, with, pass across the back in their defence, but they've been struggling to break us down the whole game, apart from that last couple of minutes where he got that quick corner, but wrecked up every one of the enemy players, just played a superb game, they've all done their jobs well, we've scored four good goals, all from open play, what more could we ask, you know, 4-1, we, we march on, we've got another game here on Saturday against Forest Green, all we've got to worry about is our own results, and don't worry about the, the, other, the other teams. Exactly so. Uh, it's a huge double header of home games, and we started it in the most fabulous fashion. I mean, in terms of man of the match, uh, we're going to have such a job trying to work it out because how many can you name? How many man of the matches oh. can you have? Because the, they were a hell of a lot who were worthy of it as they're now going on a, a walk around the pitch to applaud the fans who were also brilliant. The atmosphere was great from the start. Well, it was a, it was a Tuesday night under the lights, you know, it really, so that really special atmosphere, you know, at night games usually have that little bit of edge about them, don't they? But for me, man of the match has to be Andy Cannon. Yeah, fair comment. He, he was excellent. His energy forward. was amazing. His man. energy defensively was amazing. The passes he was making were perfect. He scored the goal on top of that. But it's so unfair to single out one player because as a unit today we were perfect against you know scoring four goals against such a good side in Crawley who have been the best team away from home this season. And Mullin yeah. is giving it the fist bumps to the crowd. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant two goals from him i mean he was magnificent like i say the number of players who were potential men of the match i mean mullen was brilliant up front from right. barnett was barnett. excellent yeah excellent today absolutely um, elliot lee great assist yeah he was excellent today. george Evans is that anchor in the middle of the pitch that we've missed so for a lot of times this season the back three had to be very disciplined and really had to put in a a really disciplined shift into there. Conquo made some excellent saves yeah. as well. Uh, you know, McLean, the work rate, the sprinting. You know, he, he, as Neil said, he was like a train on that left hand side. Everyone was excellent today. It, what a performance. An absolute pleasure to watch. 15 shots. I mean, it's interesting looking at the, the stats actually. 15 shots by Crawley. 14 by us, 8 on target by them, 7 by us, but we were so much efficient, more efficient in that shooting. Ade had to make good yeah. saves, 4 of those go in, whereas Okonkwo made a couple of sharp saves, I agree, but it uh, wasn't worked as much as Ade at the other end. We talked about that before the game, we provided it, didn't we? It, it shows that you can't always look at stats and draw conclusions from games, yeah. because, you know, every attack we had, we looked threatening, and yes, Crawley had a lot of possession they played some beautiful really neat and tidy football but it was all about how structured we were defensively yeah. which was the impressive part for me we were so disciplined Phil Parks has got to take a lot of credit for today's excellent display as well what absolutely. I, I'm absolutely delighted with that can't, can't be much more happy than that as the, as, the, as the games are going they seem to all be going against us but it doesn't matter because we've just got to keep winning and also well Okay, Mansfield with the one they lead against Forest Green, but it's them, MK Dons and Barrow we want to sort of keep an eye on in a sense, isn't it? But if we keep winning, who cares? We, yeah, we don't have to focus on them. All we have to do is focus on winning. You know, we win Saturday, it puts us in an excellent position. You know, looking at the points tallies there, we don't have to worry about anyone else. We really don't. We now five points clear of Milton Keynes Dons, so in essence, to overtake us they've got to win all three games now haven't they in yeah. essence 
you know, Mansfield well, win. I'm going to win two at least, but you know, yeah, if Mansfield win on Saturday and we win, yeah. it, it puts us in a great position, doesn't it? Fabulous stuff, absolutely fabulous stuff. Two goals from Mullen, Cannon left, left in as well with that great tight angle finish, and Ryan Barnett who got the thing started with his first goal for Wrexham. A spectacular performance. <sighs> Have you decided on the match? Yeah, I agree. Are you happy with Andy Cannon I, as well? Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'm sure Neil won't disagree. Well, if he does, unlucky. This is not a democracy. Yeah, he's happy with Andy Cannon and the match. Fair enough. Yeah. But that was brilliant. With the yeah. final score of Wrexham 4, Crawley 1, we be Mark Griffiths, Che Long, and Neil Williams from Wrexham AFC.